Hi guys, my name is Legend of Lillian, and today we are playing 60 Seconds. Um, I suck at this game. I'll admit that. I've played it maybe three times, and I've won once, and that was on the little boy mode. So, I don't know what I want to do. I guess we'll just go big and do... We'll just start. Now this is a strategy game, and I really kind of suck at strategy. So I just like, sure, that looks like a good idea. We'll just do that. And that's not really the best way to go about it. So we'll see. Oh crap, I forgot about this part. Dang it. Uh, okay, radio. I know I need that. Okay, radio's in there. Okay, come here. I'm just gonna toss you in right there. Radio. Radio something I desperately need. Come here. Uh, soup. Water. Water. Uh, come on. Oh, I'm gonna fail so much. Thirty seconds. Oh, I need more food and water. Ooh, come on. Oh. X shirt. Why not? Another water. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I'm horrible at this. Well, that worked well. I didn't get my wife. I'm sorry, Dolores. You're just left to the bomb. I got my kids, though. That's the important thing. I am a good father. I got my kids. And a radio. And an axe. Wow, I did horribly. Yeah, I have absolutely nothing. Day one. So here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was the four of us. Shout out to Dolores. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Yes, you should have. You should have known that there was a nuke coming and that you'd have to dive into your shelter. That's why you have this thing. Our shelves are full of can. We'll Eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Oh, great. You're already crazy. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. That's good. And you guys are all fine. How about that lake we've been going to for a few years? It's good to find ourselves out there. Far away from all this madness. Yeah, I doubt the lake will be there when you get out. Just, It's just a fact of life. So it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Nothing new. Mary Jane, Timmy's fine. Ted is okay. Sure. Role playing Thunderdome. Silent game. Silence was too annoying, and we quickly stopped. That's probably a good idea. Water, water, water. I did hear that. Everybody can last four days without water. So like, day four they'll get water, and then day eight, and then day 12, and all that kind of stuff. Timmy can go outside. Oh, we don't have a gas mask. Oh, I'm so sorry, Timmy. I'm so sorry. You're gonna get sick. I don't have a, I, I have nothing. Oh. Yeah, this is probably going to end in failure. You both can have water, because it's day four. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere, and they don't seem very scared of us. It's time that we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. Good thing we have that poison. That's a good thing. That's, that's the only thing we threw down here. There's one thing that can drive spiders away it's, and stop us climbing 
stop us climbing up the front shirts the bug killing spray. This was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon and the results are excellent. We <laughs> eradicated 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. <laughs> it was a good day. Wow, you couldn't even find a water bottle. Mary Jane wasn't worried, or at least she was not saying so. Ted is fine. That's good. One minute it was fine, the next thing we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a group of ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. You guys can't go crazy yet. It's not time for that. You'll barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope it won't happen again. Impressive how Mary Jane is holding up. Ted is okay. They don't need to eat yet. Ugh. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's poking his head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get it. We can't let it be in there when we sleep. Cut it down with the axe and probably lose the axe and put one more foot closer to the grave. Oh, we have still have the axe. Cool. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still at the top of the food chain. Good for us. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Spare some water. Ted is hungry. Fish drink. I'm gonna make you go one more day. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. We'll have to leave eventually. It could be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. That's even possible. Our hopes that our brave soldiers will come rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government sh shelter. Sure, let's contact the military. That's the only good thing about our situation, is that we have this radio. It's the only thing. The government is not following their coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates. It won't be waiting long. Couple days. She keeps fainting. Okay. Guys, both get food and water. Uh, okay. Day nine. Oh, yeah, and Timmy's back. Oh, Timmy, you brought stuff. That's good. But you're also very sick. I should probably... I don't know. Exploring the waste wasteland should begin in our own backyard. Our street was a good choice. Plenty of well-stocked houses. A lot of neighbors we didn't like that could be robbed without hesitation. We decided to give it a shot. We found a refrigerator in the middle of our neighbor's lawn. Even without electricity, the light was on. Odd. Uh, contained quite a few soup cans and surprisingly a f brown fedora. It wasn't edible. We tried. I feel like that's a shout out to something that I have no recollection of. I would say Indiana Jones, but he doesn't have a fedora. Anyway, so we got a soup can. Mr. Jenkson was brewing moonshine. We got a water bottle. Cool. Uh, scout handbook. That's good. Uh, and, and ammunition. Sorry, I cannot pronounce some words. Debris tunnel. Flashlight. Cool. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy can eat. Just Timmy can eat. I'm sorry, I do not have a med kit. That sucks. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. And we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? They have the weirdest things that survived the, the bomb. Answer the phone, clearly hear a gasp release from the caller. They introduce themselves. The survivors, town of Hill Valley. Something must have gone wrong on their side. Cool. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy can have more soup because he was out in the wasteland for a while. Another phone call? Okay, Mary Jane, go answer the phone again. We just had this one. Whatever. Okay. 
Uh, a gambler. We don't have the cards anyway, so it's not like we could gamble even if we wanted to. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that for the set the kids? Uh, we need supplies, but not like that. Nothing new. Bothering Mary Jane. Timmy's just sick. Ted's fine. So you guys don't need anything. Mary Jane can go outside. She will take nothing with her. Because why would you? Just you and me, Tim. Now you guys can eat. Because I don't want you dying on me. We discussed everything we could and no one is willing to chat anymore. Radio. Don't go crazy, please. Timmy is in terrible shape. You both need water, so there you go. Armed and dangerous woman outside, fortunately she is out of ammo. She tells us she is hunts wild beasts. Giant mutated spider. I don't remember if this is a good thing or not. I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause why not? I don't think we use him for anything else. Oh. Timmy looks very, very sick. I'm sorry, Timmy. We agree mostly because we're kind of curious what she's planning to do with the spider when she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. Timmy is rested. Ted is fine. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's a map. I'm just like, we have the radio. No, but that's the map. Yeah, we don't have the map. Of course we don't have the map. Because why would we have a map? That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, she's back. <gasps> and we have a gas mask. But you're also sick. Maybe we should just give Ted the Ted gas mask so you two don't get him sick. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look through to get food and water. Our expedition coming home with nothing to show for all for all the searching, but they stumbled across full trash cans in our neighbor and one man's trash and another man's treasure. Um, soup, gas mask. <laughs> that didn't sound good. I'm sorry. Um, starving, water. Okay, you get food, you get water, you get both. Timmy can go outside. And I'm not making him take the gas mask. Cause he's already sick, so there wouldn't be any point. Oh, yay, the fallout's mostly gone. Hopefully Timmy won't completely die. Maybe. Mary Jane can have both. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping. Oh, earthquake! <sighs> okay, gas mask, the fallout's mostly gone. I don't remember using the gas mask for anything else. The flashlight is helpful if you wanna help Pancake, the dog, but the, you need the radio for the government. So I guess the radio, because that's the most important thing of those three. Yep, flashlight's gone and gas mask's gone. Dang it. Hungry, drink. Sure. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Sure. That was probably a bad decision. Uh oh. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders came near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. Oh, that's good. Poor Timmy. I'm sorry. A young lady all dressed in white visited us today, requesting our aid, wasting her time. She laid out a plan that she said. Of what she said is the bandit camp. Ted, go rescue her brother. You can do it. You're fine. A little tired looking, but you're fine. Call quickly grew, called a group of friends and set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Yay! Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on the top of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost hand, but the group tended to his energies and he'll just be fine. Cool. 
The siblings thanked us a hundred times and they said they would definitely contact us again. Ted is safely returned. Cool. And you both are fine. Bring us a med kit, please. Uh, last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? Yes, Ted, go find the soup. Oh, yay, we have a med kit! Oh! Uh, uh, yay! Wait, okay. We believe our expedition was followed. We should be more cautious next time. Okay. Oh, heal Mary Jane. Yay. Neither of you are ready, but we'll prepare for one anyway, just in case. Even though I doubt you can go, because you both are tired. Again, we have no map. As you can see, the map that should be hanging in this portion of the screen, or the wall, is not there. So, we cannot do that. And I'm a horrible person for not grabbing the map. I should like write down a list of all the most important things, like a med kit, the gas mask, the radio, and the map. And the flashlight, I think. I always grab the axe, and I almost never need it. Oh! See, this is like the one time I need the axe. Remember Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like something had bitten her. Now the energy injury is looking much worse. We fear it may be infected. We have to clean it up. Yep, we're gonna chop off her arm. <laughs> Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow, and we were able to explain to her intentions before we ra she ran off. Heating the axe blade allows us to clean the wound, stop it from festering. Now it's up to her immune system fight to fight off the infection. Yeah, like, that's gonna work. Um, but we did have to break the axe. Why did you have to break the axe? You didn't have to break the axe. I mean, I know you guys didn't have survival training, but you don't just do that. Yes, Mary Jane can go outside, because she's wasted now. Um, there isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the... Build a hole. Yes. Every time I've done this, we've gotten a can of soup out of it. Yep, we looked in the hole and found a dead rat clinging to a can of tomato soup. So we got the soup. Mary Jane is hungry. Um, okay, we'll give them both food. Even though... Uh, I guess we'll give you both water too. And then Mary Jane can go outside. And hopefully bring back water. Mary Jane, don't let me down. I did forget that there were raiders outside. That could probably potentially be a problem. Really? Really? <sighs> the one other time I needed the axe. This is why you don't break the axe, Ted. And you can last one more day. I'm sure you can. Don't die on me, Ted. I mean, I know you look awful. And you need like a washing machine and a bath, but you will not die on me. Unknown creature. This is Pancake! Pancake, come here! Hey, Pancake! Ah! He doesn't give us anything for a while, but. Pancake! Again with the map! Ugh. Very disappointed in myself. And Mary Jane's back, and also sick again. But you got a lot of soup. Uh, furry beast jumped on us. Good thing our hearts were not battered by a fat, heavy hamburger diet because it was our dog friend. Yes, we will give him a can of soup. I will happily give him a can of soup. Because if you can't be nice to dogs in the apocalypse, what kind of a person are you? And the dog is back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, so the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake, who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was not gone the was go but, uh, 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 but was gone the next morning. There's no button there. Gone next morning. <sighs> Move on. Um, Mary Jane could use food and water. Ted needs water? Yeah. You both can get some water. 
Oh, we never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge and probably attack us once they get a chance. Hit them with the Boy Scout manual. Squish them. That was close. A nest of these glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches? Yikes. If I have the radio, I need the map. If I have the map, I need the radio. There's just no pleasing this game. Still both fine. Can't go outside. We don't have... Oh no, pancake. I want to go pancake. Oh. But I don't have any of this stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop coughing on me. <sighs> Pancake wasn't too happy with staying put. Eventually left and did not come back. <laughs> One more day and then you guys can have a drink. Still not rested enough. Oh, someone's trying to break in. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no! Mary Jane! The enemy stormed into our shelter instead of grabbing her supplies. They got Mary Jane! She put up a fight and kept her kidnap- kept biting her kidnappers fiercely. We hope they don't hurt her. That's not a good thing. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Your daughter was just kidnapped, and all you can think about is getting water. What kind of a man are you? If I leave, I think that ends the game. We'll see. Something could happen tomorrow, and maybe I won't leave. You can have water. I don't care. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go a couple more days, I think. See what happens. Ted is really thirsty. You can have some water. Go ahead. Still don't have the axe. Oh, see, maybe I should just leave. So I don't have any of the resources to do any of this stuff. Sure. Take the suitcase. Suitcase. Gas mask. Flashlight. Boy Scout manual. Go for it. Probably should have taken the radio. The end. Oh, wow. It's the century, so no one expects the Inquisition, sh Inquisition to show up. They did. They showed up and decided that our shelter would be the perfect place for a torture chamber. This we found out, we made the best effort to put as many miles between us and them as possible. We didn't get Dolores. Um, we did make contact with the military once. Day 9 and day 10 were like the, exactly the same thing. That was weird. We found Pancake, though we couldn't help him out when he needed it the most. Evicted by religious nuts at the end. Yep, that sounds about right. But I didn't die. That's the main point here. I didn't die. Next time, I need to make sure to grab the map and the radio and a gas mask, I think, right off the bat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you liked it, and thank you for your comment. Oh. What? What? What did you just? That could have been very important.